Thank you to the more than 52,000 people who were tested till 8 p.m. last night. That is a very good result. And obviously, given the situation we're under, it's really important for anybody with the mildest of symptoms to come forward and get tested. Anyone who's been deemed, of course, a close or casual contact must get tested. And of course, even if you're a casual contact, you have to stay isolated until you get advice to the contrary. Uh, I want to thank everybody for accepting the government's decision yesterday in relation to the two-week lockdown. Uh, the anecdotal evidence we have to date, and Deputy Commissioner Warboys will comment on this, is that people are being compliant, and we're deeply grateful for that. I'm absolutely convinced that if all of us pull together, we will start seeing the results results uh, we want to achieve over the next two weeks. Uh, yesterday to 8pm we had 30 cases of community transmission. 11 of those were already in isolation, which is positive. The balance of those cases are all linked, which is another positive. However, uh, which is one of the reasons uh, we're in the situation we are, a number of those cases, even though they were linked, um, Health understands that a number of people were in the community whilst potentially infectious, and Dr Chant will go through all that. And that's why you might see additional venues pop up. And we do ask everybody to keep monitoring the newsouthwales.gov.au website or else the New South Wales Health website for those latest information on venues and to respond accordingly, of course. The stay-at-home provisions still mean we encourage everybody to come forward and get the medical attention they need. We encourage everybody to come forward and get the vaccine. And of course, uh, we want to make sure uh, that people have that information about testing and about their own status and the status of their close uh, loved ones uh, to make sure all of us stay safe. Uh, Dr Chant will, of course, go through all those cases and, uh, and make sure that all of us are aware of what's going on in the next little while. Can I also stress that whilst you're outdoor exercising, we've said that you're outdoors, sorry, I should say outdoor walking or exercising. Whilst you're outdoors in groups of up to 10, you don't have to wear a mask whilst you're exercising. So I just want to make that clear. Uh, clearly, uh, if you're having to go to work and have no other option or you're clearly uh, having to, uh, to go outside of... Um, uh, outside of your home into an indoor setting, you need to wear a mask. But if you are outdoors um, exercising in up to groups of 10, so long as you maintain good social distancing, there's no need to wear a mask. So I just wanted to make that clear to everybody. Uh, again, my deepest gratitude to everybody for adhering to the rules. Um, Service New South Wales receives um, thousands of calls yesterday and we're grateful that people are so interested in looking up the information. We encourage that to continue. And I do also want to foreshadow that the New South Wales government is working on a package to provide support to businesses and that will be announced uh, in the next few days and will be uh, ensuring that Service New South Wales is available for that to occur. Can I also encourage everybody to use QR codes whenever you have physical contact, even if it's with good social distancing and even if it's with a mask, uh, please register your QR contact. We know QR code, we know a lot of businesses have gone from, you know, sitting in to, to take away. If you're going to p physically pick up anything, please make sure you register. It just allows our contact tracers that extra bit of time we save uh, when we know who's been where at what time. It makes their job so much easier. Uh, I also do want to foreshadow that given how contagious this strain of the virus is, we do anticipate that in the next few days, case numbers are likely to increase even beyond what we've seen today. Because we are seeing that people in isolation, unfortunately, will have already transmitted it to all of their household contacts. So uh, we do want to anticipate that case numbers will increase. But the measure of our success won't be so much the people in isolation who get the disease, but the measure of our success will be to limit the number of people who've been out and about in the community who get the disease. And that's why we are in the situation we are. We need to prevent people who may be infectious from circulating the disease in the community. And that's why it's really, really important for all of us to respect the stay at home or lockdown provisions so all of us can stay safe. I also wanted to thank many in our regional communities who for the first time will have had restrictions imposed on them in a way they haven't had them imposed before. And I just want to thank all of our regional communities in particular as well for taking the health advice and limiting their activities so that we can keep everybody safe across the state.